Hi guys, it's Christian. Welcome back to my channel. We have another review of Kai here this week. I was super excited after last week's review. I loved all the products and I figured I'm going to start doing the other drops, but backwards. So this one is drop three. We already have a little predicament, but the predicament's already fixed. So in this video, we are doing drop three. As you notice, we got a box. They came individually packaged. I'll go over all the prices kind of as we go and in the order that I ordered in. After Kai Drop 3, like literally a day after, I picked up these sweatpants. They arrived two or three days after that. Everything from Kai has been shipping next day. Even I've bought now the next day shipping, the middle shipping, and the cheapest shipping. I've gotten all three at this point. I did the middle shipping for this one, the last shipping for this one. I got this, I wanted to try it on because I saw Mia Maple videos and a few other videos talking about how her sweatpants are actually true to size. These are an extra small and as you can tell they don't fit me. Normally I would wear an extra small. I waited a couple days. These just arrived yesterday. I waited a couple days. I think Thursday night at like midnight or one in the morning they restocked randomly a few of the pieces on the website. So I pick up the extra, extra small already on the gray sweatpants, but they didn't have the cuffed versions. They had the uncuffed versions. So those will be on the way. I'm still gonna show you these ones because I don't wanna do a second, I don't wanna wait longer and then do a second video when those come. So I'm gonna show you these ones anyway. Due to these basically being wrong, I agree with Mia Maples and a few of the other YouTubers I've watched that make videos about these that like their tagging was wrong. I feel like all of the tags were mixed up because this is like a medium. It is not an extra small and it doesn't align with the size chart they have on their website. That is definitely suspicious. There is a drawstring on the inside which helps but doesn't get close enough to where I could actually wear this every day. So I can do the drawstring, it would work, but it's not gonna be like an everyday comfort kind of vibe. They do hit at the bottom of my feet. However, the coolest thing I noticed through this process, which I haven't seen anyone talk about is her returns process because obviously I don't need sweatpants that don't fit me and sweatpants that hopefully do. I did do a return and it's very simple to do a return on her website. You just scroll to the bottom, hit help, and then hit returns. You type in the order number. It comes up with all the items from that order. You click on it, you hit return, and they have a option where you can ship it back to them. And then they also have an option where you can take $4 out of the return fee, which you would have ended up paying for a box and packaging stuff anyway, to just drop it off at Staples. And if you ship it to them, it takes the shipping time and then seven days to get the return and then three days to process it. If you choose Staples, they process the return right when Staples scans it. So that three to seven day return window that your bank has is the only return window that happens. So I'm gonna do that later today and in the next video I'll tell you how it went. We also got a white baby tee and I'm not really a baby tee kind of person but I've had a few outfits in mind with baby tees. So I was like, I'm gonna pick up a baby tee. I need to get this in black too to do the other outfit that I have in mind, I want to do like a 2005, 2002 Jennifer Aniston vibe. There's like a photo of her in a black trench coat, black jeans that are kind of baggy, a baby tee, really tiny glasses and boots, and then Brad Pitt's with her and he's like wearing all black and it's like oversized. And I think that'd be really cool. I have everything from that outfit except a black baby tee. So from Kai Drop 1, I'm going to grab a black baby tee unless I really like the fit of this one and then I'll probably grab the exact same thing. This feels really nice. I'm pretty sure it's cotton. 91% cotton, 4% elastane, made in Egypt. Machine wash cold. So all of her products I think are machine wash cold. And then it being elastic helps with the stretch and made in Egypt, I can tell that the textiles are really nice. And Egypt is known for having really good textiles. I, mean, I had a clothing line for a while that I paused on and will probably go forward with again in the future. So I did research into a lot of manufacturers and places and Egypt has really nice textiles. So that's nice. The just, just white baby tee. And then I also picked up in an extra small, the matching oversized hoodie. And it is, see, I don't understand. The tops extra smalls like do work. Like this is an oversized hoodie. I believe it fits the same way as my Carhartt one. Well, I haven't put it on yet, but it looks like it fits the same as my Carhartt one. 
I will mention that the fabric is really nice. Like it's really thick, both these and the sweatpants, really thick. It has some stretch to it. It's really soft. The inside is almost like a toweled fleece. Like it's less of like a fleece fleece. Like Skims' fleece is so soft. Whereas this is kind of towely and it's closer to like the represent fleece. Whereas like the Skims one is closer to like the Carhartt fleece. But it just says extra small fleece oversized zip up hoodie. She had three options for the oversized zip ups. She had a cropped one and a oversized one. And then she had, like, I think just a regular hoodie. This one will fit the best for me. I don't like cropped hoodies because I don't like this being, like, on my chest. Like, that makes no sense to me. And for the vibe I want, I ordered Miu Miu white boxers with the little Miu Miu thing on the top. And then I ordered white Saji socks from Skims. And I got the Miu Miu New Balances in white. And I have, like, a vibe that I'm trying to go for. So like, I think that that vibe will work out really, really well. The zipper is, I think it feels plasticky, but also metally at the same time. I feel like the zipper is the lowest quality piece from this whole piece, but for the price, like the price isn't bad. And it is a hundred, this is a hundred percent cotton. And so is the sweatpants, which is cool. It has just like the normal Kai tag. The sweatpants also had the tag. The baby tee had the print on tag. I'm wearing my Sims men's right now. This is her jersey collection, but we're not reviewing skims right now we're reviewing this so let me put all this on and let you know what i think okay we'll go in order we'll start with the sweatpants the only gripe i have is that they're huge two or three inches longer than my body the wideness of them make it difficult so like if this was the way it was supposed to fit this would be taken in probably here and this one would be taken in probably there and i feel like that would look so much better let's tie this up so that we can at least wear them and them not fall off. The fabric is really nice, so I didn't feel bad buying new ones. See, like it is tieable, but it does have this like bunching when you tie it, and I don't want that. I don't want that vibe. The fabric is super nice. The length is like perfect. And so far, everything from the Kai Drops are like really nice. I love this. It feels soft. It doesn't feel like it's like in the middle of fleece in that towel velour where it's like not too itchy but it's also not too soft and I really like that. The sweatpants also don't have pockets, which is crazy to me. How? Mo a lot of- some of the- the shorts on her website had pockets. How are you gonna release sweatpants and not have pockets? We're in 2024. <laughs> release pockets and things. Like, you could have easily stitched in a secret pocket. And it's like so strange that there's not a pocket. Like, that definitely bothers me. It is definitely one of the cons of these. And I think that there are pockets on the ones that I got. And yeah, the hoodie has pockets, and it's like here for the pockets, so it would be where the pockets are supposed to be. But most of the time, I don't want, I don't want to put things in my hoodie. Like, people can easily take that out. Whereas, like, sweatpants should have pockets. You should have pockets. How has no one else mentioned that? No one else has talked about how there is no pockets. Crazy. So let's go into the baby tee. This fits almost perfectly. I think the only thing that's missing from it is that it's doing this in the back. And I'm not really sure why. Let me move closer so you can see it in more detail. It's like bunching in the back here. I don't know why. Other than that, this fits like really well. Like my arms fit really well. Here fits well. If I were to tailor it, I'd have to take off like that much so that it doesn't do that. Yeah, if I took off like an inch from both sides, it wouldn't do that as bad, which makes it less difficult. And I think this is only because it's super tight here and it's really loose here. So obviously she thought people would have boobs. If you have boobs, it takes it in back here and it doesn't have that issue. I don't have boobs. So it has that extra fabric here. However, she released this line as a unisex line, and there are men modeling it on her website, as well as women. It not being, like, a unisex fit is definitely stressful. That's the only thing I don't like, is that it balloons on the bottom, which would be an easy fix from a tailor. I could try to- this is mostly cotton, so I could try to shrink it. But if I shrink it, this would become too small. However, other than that, the fabric is nice. I like the length. The reason I don't like baby tees is because it's always too short, and I feel like that's, like, too much going out in public, like, with that issue. So that's the reason I haven't done that mostly, but it's a nice shade of white. It's like a pure white. It matches the jean, or it matches the sweatpants really well. And it fits really nicely. It's really soft. It feels nice. This is a little choky, but not like too bad to where it's like unbearable. Let's throw on the last piece, which is this oversized hoodie. 
which I love the fit of this. This is my favorite piece. The length is super nice. It like hides the issue that we have back here, but the length is super nice and it's a nice oversized hoodie. The way that the hood, I can already tell, looks cool. I like it a lot. The texture on the inside of this is like that toweled texture, but when it's on your body, it's not extremely itchy, which is really, really nice. Like I love that and it just feels like a vibe. I'm gonna go check the mirror, see if I have any final thoughts thoughts. My final thoughts are that I like it. I like the fit. Fit well. This is really weird. Okay, so the gripes that I have about it are the same things as the things I like. I like the way that it fits and I hate the way that it fits. Like, all of my issues so far from drop four and drop three are minor inconveniences, like that nude sleeve that like had that pillowing or like there were random things here and there that like, like the fupa that just did not work and there's parts on this that I don't like. Like, I don't like that this baby tee is poofing in the back. I love the the fit of this hoodie. The fit of the hoodie is the best part. And it looks great with the sweatpants. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Just, ugh, everything's too big. They're not everything. The tops always work out. Like, even in the last drop, the tops worked out. The top piece of the hoodie worked out. The top piece of the, like, baby tee worked out other than this poofing. And then the bottom was, like, a medium. Hopefully when the other sweatpants come in, I'll be able to, like, really love it because I feel like if the only issue I had was this baby tee poofing out, like that's a very simple fix. One, it's covered by the hoodie. Two, I can pin it with a safety pin or I could just tailor it and it would be very, very simple to tailor it because there's seams on both sides. If I were to take off an inch on both sides and tailor it, it would fit me exactly the way that it's supposed to. If the only gripe I have about it is once again that I have to take an inch off of something, that's not bad. Like the fabric is great, the fit is like okay, and the comfortability is great. This is my favorite sweatpants set I've had in a while. I don't really have many sweatpants sets and I really enjoy this one. So hopefully Kai bangs out her sizing problems because that is the biggest issue that universally everyone is having. We need to get those issues fixed. I think that the hoodie was like 82 bucks, sweatpants were like 78 or $80, and this I think was like 55. So it's on the higher end, but the quality and the textile fabrics are like really nice overall. If she can fix those sizing problems on the pricing, I think is okay. It's no different than like Skims pricing, but like Skims right off the bat was flawless. I mean, the name issue and then, there were a few like culturally problematic issues, but like the fit and the fabric, everyone loved it right away and it was never a problem. Whereas like this, I feel like is, it's getting there. It's getting there and doing this backwards is probably gonna be the worst part for me because she did take three months in between this drop and that drop to fix a lot of those issues. So I'm doing it backwards and I'm doing drop four, three, two, and then one. And you know, I'm starting to run into the issues that other people have but I already ordered the smaller size and I'm already fixing those issues. So who knows what I'll think by the time those come. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my review of Kai Drop 3, not 6, 3. Subscribe, like, comment if you liked it. Let me know what you think. Let me know other brands that you want me to review. I reached out to Good American and we're working on possibly collaborating for a video. So that could be fun. And of course I will do Skims and Kai, like love them. Thank you, let me know what you think. I also am trying a 30 day let me moment. And so a month or so from now, I'm already half a week through, but about a month from now, there might be a video reviewing a couple let me gummies. I mean, there, there not, might be, like there will be. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.